So today I'm going to put my pharmacist hat on and tell you guys what uh, coronavirus is. Um, so basically, uh, coronavirus, uh, it occurs in humans and in animals, and we've experienced coronavirus before. It typically shows up in the form of a common cold, upper respiratory tract infection that can, you know, be treated with a Z-pack or something like that. Now, also the coronavirus occurs in animals as well. We've experienced the coronavirus before. We experienced it in 2002. Uh, it went by the name of SARS as well as in 2012. And SARS means, I guess, severe acute respiratory syndrome. And then it occurred uh, in 2012 as MERS, which is uh, Middle Eastern uh, Respiratory Syndrome. So with this particular virus, um, now, oh, and then let me explain. So with the SARS virus, it originated in bats and it transferred over to an animal called civets. And then it mutated, the virus mutated and was able to protein bind to enter um, in the humans. And also in MERS, that originated from bats as well. It mutated and it was able to get into humans. This particular uh, coronavirus uh, started in Wuhan, China, and they're believing that this either came from a bat or a snake because these viruses are in these animals all the time. And once again, the virus mutated and was able to protein bind and get into the human. Now, this virus is pretty dangerous because it can last, um, they're saying, and I could be some of this shit I'm wrong on, so I know y'all gonna be in the comments. No, no, no. But listen, I'm giving you my my shit. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this particular virus can last outside of the body for up to 24 hours, and it can be spread through cough, through droplets, and things of that nature. Now, I know the media is putting out that this is a very dangerous virus. However, the coronavirus, which is, uh, they, they classified it as NCO19 um, because it's a new virus. They don't really have a name for it. Um, they've classified it as that. They haven't really gotten, you know, how to, cure this thing. Not yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming. Now, it's showing a fatality rate of about 2%, whereas SARS, I believe, showed a fatality rate of maybe 12% or something like that, and MERS was like 34% fatality rate, and then Ebola was like a 70% fatality rate. So, as you can see, based off of this you know, they have a lot of people infected, but it's only showing 2% of those people infected are dying. So you got a 98% chance of surviving with the coronavirus. So this isn't too bad. Everything's going to be okay. If you, I mean, ways to stay away from this, stay out of Wuhan, China. Um, and if you could just avoid... Uh, Drinking bat's blood or snake venom or eating a bat or a snake. If you can avoid that, try that. And also, if you're scared of somebody cough for something, keep you some damn Lysol. Okay? As soon as that cough come out, you just spray a little bit. All right? And um, they're working on the vaccine for this right now. And it should be out soon. And please, everybody, go get your shots. Make sure you vaccinating and to all you anti-vaxxers what are you going to do about this ha 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 i'm sure the bean sprouts or whatever the food or your natural remedies will not cure this pandemic so if it can please call somebody and see who can take elderberries or whatever 
y'all eat to cure things to help. But I seriously doubt if it's going to work. So that's it. Huh? Didn't you like that? That's my little health update. My name is LeVar Walker, comedian, pharmacist, PharmD here. Huh? So, ah, there we go.